I am here in Glossop, the smallest town to ever have a team in the top flight of English football. Keep watching to find out more. I'm here at the Asgard Engineering Stadium, the home of Glossop North End, to find out a bit more about this club's history. I'm here with Dan, groundsman here at Glossop North End. Could you just tell me a bit, because I didn't know this before I started researching the video, that Glossop is actually the smallest town to ever have a top flight team in England. What what an accolade to have for the club. Absolutely, Robbie. Yeah, it's, uh, it's that classic pub quiz question. Uh, you know, the smallest town in, in England. Quite, quite an accolade. Um, you know, d different era now, obviously, for the club, but but quite an accolade to have it. We're coming up on the 125th year anniversary since we were actually promoted to the uh, the first division, along with uh, Man City. I think we were runners up that year, um, so it's 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 quite a quite an accolade to have and and a, and a bit of nostalgia to to halt back to the, the the early days of the club. Was it the 1899-1900 season? Was it that you're in the first division as it was back then? Is there much that you know sort of about that season? You know, obviously they're only there a season, so they must have got relevant but you know what what sort of teams were they coming up against and and all that it's fascinating really but yeah what what do you really know about that time is with the history uh, well we, we, we originally played at North Road which is just a, a short walk from here um, this isn't the original ground of the club but back at North Road you know standing room only on some occasions some very very high attendances over I think 10,000 on a, a couple of occasions and it's amazing to see the likes of you know Man City, Leeds United, Liverpool coming through to uh, to, to Glossop the, the irony of it is, uh, is is quite something I think the one of the one of the lowest points tallies ever in uh, Premier League history but it's nice to still be on that uh, that table when it comes around every now and again all time all time Premier League League points, Glossop's still there, but we were only known as, uh, as 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 Glossop at that point. And sort of bringing it forward to to the modern day, let's <laughs> say so you're a far cry from the first division now. Um, but what what's the sort of what's the club up to at the moment? Sort of you know for people that aren't aware, sort of what level are the club playing at at, at the moment, and how you're getting on. Uh, well, we, we, we recently uh, we got relegated from Step 4, the Northern Premier League West Division. We're now playing back in the North West Counties at Step 5, uh, a division that we have had success in uh, in previous years, winning, winning the title in, in 2015. Um, so we're re regrouping a little bit after the relegation. This season's not been easy, but we're, we're kicking on into next season. Fresh optimism, you know, it's, it's behind us now. Um, but we have a nice community community feel here. We get crowds of, uh, you know, around 300-ish for, for home games. Nice community feel. Uh, and there's plenty of opportunity for people to get involved if they're in the local area, uh, volunteering opportunities, match day roles, various things. So uh, happy, you know, when people come on, come along on match day, it's a, it's a nice place to be. We got the memorial wall that we got up last season, just a bit of a people, Genie fans, past and present. Take you into the boardroom and see what's going on. Shirt from the first Mars final uh, in 2009. I think that is the uh, FA. Is that the one, 100 years outstanding achievement? So, something. Right. So here you've got 1914-15 Division Two. That's the uh, a, a, a painting that someone did for us on our, uh, our first visit to Wembley against Whitley Bay. Uh, in the 2009 final, some of these people are um, are real, like the chairman Dave Hackinson on the uh, on the top left there. Some of them are, are just fans and fans' faces, but it's quite a nice thing to have in the boardroom. And that is another uh, painting. There's actually one. If you go to Glossop train station later today, right. if you're out and about, there is yeah. an exhibition in there in which we've got another one of those. But that's uh, back when it was still seven quid to get in. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, no, it's, it's pound for pound, we don't do, we don't do too bad for the space that we've got. 
of the ultras go and, uh, and things where we've got the atmosphere. We had this nicely painted for us with the lettering a few years ago. Uh, which provides a nice bit of atmosphere. A few of the flags. <laughs> we probably need to come in for a wash soon. <laughs> <laughs> And the actual the main the main stand is actually like half of a garage if you look at the side profile. So the other half is somewhere in the world existing, we don't know where. <laughs> but uh, it's literally a garage chopped in half and they're filled in with some seats with If yeah. so if someone could find the other half of this stand in the comments, let me know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we might buy it, yeah. And put some blue seats in it. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm up at the top end of the ground now, and I don't know if the camera's going to do it justice, but just look at this view behind me. Absolutely stunning with the Pennines in the background. I'm going to try and get the drone up in the air so you guys can see it as well. But yeah, just beautiful. What a place to watch football. Okay guys, so there you have it. Really, really interesting to hear from Dan there, the groundsman here at Glossop North End about the club's history and the fact that Glossop is the smallest town in England to ever host a top flight team. Really, really interesting. Did not know that, as I said before, I started researching this video. But guys, if you have enjoyed the video and you have learned something as well, please do not forget to leave a like. And of course, subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload. Let me know as well what sort of videos you want to see during the off season in the comments as well. Um, I'll be sure to uh, be taking a look down there and see what sort of stuff you guys want to see on the channel before the new the new season kicks off but yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.